estén presentes en actos como este, es necesario que demostremos que no vamos a tolerar el racismo. Think of Washoe County being the the, the, the swingest uh, county and the swingest state. Uh, all eyes are on us. So yeah, we the, the the train of candidates that come comes through here is, is really pretty cool. We have big candidates that are coming, which is good. Which just emphasizes how important it is for us to come out and vote. We need to go to different rallies, different things to find out what exactly our candidates are saying, uh, so that we're very educated when it comes to voting. So it just means that. We are important, we do have a voice, and we need to get out and vote. It does really play into that Reno is the biggest little city. You know, we matter that much, especially in a swing state, being a swing county. You know, knowing that um, if you want to play statewide, you got to win Washoe County. Well, I used to joke with my students that, you know, Nevada is small population and, and general irrelevance historically meant that we, our ability to see candidates was to look up and see the shiny bottoms of planes passing over us on the way to and from California. That all changed over the last 10 years and Nevada has become one of the key players. As a result, both because of an early load caucus process as well as our role in defining who will be the next president in the November election, does open the gates and brings candidates from both the Republican and Democratic Party here in droves and repeatedly. You know, we're, we're not all rapists and murderers like some people have claimed. And uh, we do have a lot to contribute to this nation, and we want to contribute to this nation. We want to make this place better for everybody, not just us. We need to understand Latinos. We need to understand that we have power. El día que entendamos que votando hacemos una diferencia, dejarán de pisotearnos. So if you are registered or if you're not registered to vote, make that, please vote. It's gonna be the only difference that, it's gonna be the only power that we have to make a difference. Now, the fight is not over. Uh, we must keep the fight to, the, to defeat all kinds of oppression. That is a community that's been ascendant when it comes to politics and political power and seeing both parties um, put in the extra effort is a, is a, is a validator of that. In Washoe specifically, and in the state of Nevada increasingly, uh, the Latino vote is uh, starting to organize in the state. It has taken a while, and this is true of every state. And the uh, Latin American influence, which is profoundly felt in the southwestern part of the United States, has been gradually building momentum 
uh, identifying candidates, becoming a source of contributions, becoming engaged and articulate of the issues. And in Nevada, we have seen this accelerated, especially because of the Democratic Party efforts to see them more engaged. And, and we have been waiting for the election where we would see the tipping point where we would see a sudden sizable increase in Hispanic uh, participation. It's now anticipated 2016 could and should be the election in Nevada where that occurs. In Washoe County, which historically is a divided and close county, the Hispanic vote, even if it is not representative of its percentage of the demographics in the county, can still be the deciding vote in the 2016 uh, action in Washoe County. For the state, we're probably not quite there yet, which is why we're really watching Washoe County this time. I feel that uh, the community, the Latino community, um, gets uh, more involved with what's going on. They understand the issues. Uh, they are not naive. Um, and, and, and they are, uh, and this, I think for this election, they are eager to participate because what they have been hearing from some uh, candidates is, is, is not nice. So they just want to react to that. And I'm sure they're going to vote um, against all of those, um, you know, racist and, and bigotry. I think the Latino community has very clear ideas about who is going to do what after the election. So I think they're rallying more than ever before to uh, get registered to vote, get informed about the candidates, and also organize the get out the vote for election day. You know, we have, again, it's no secret that in Wasser County you have about 25 to 27 percent Latino here in Wasser County. Uh, the other question would be is how many of those can vote? And and I'm not exactly sure what the percentage is there in terms of registered voters, but I know there's a lot of them that are registered voters. And every year, there's just that many more that are growing because uh, it won't be too far off that over where, where, where we'll be over 50% of the kids graduating from high school that will be turning 18 will be Latino.